Hey guys, I'm back from the dog park and I thought it would be a great time to upload some videos. So I have been filming my kids food for the past few days and as you know, we are transitioning from a more processed diet um, that had a lot of dairy in it. We were basically vegetarian except for my oldest son who did eat some meat. Uh, we were basically vegetarian and then I started reading and we, but we did eat a lot of processed food and then I started reading a lot about, I started reading, I read the China study, I read Dr. Furman's book, Super Immunity, and I'm in the midst of reading uh, How Not to Die. And that just scared the bejeebers out of me and realized that I would not be doing my kids a service as a mother if I let them continue to eat stuff that has been clearly proven to cause cancer and cause diabetes and weight problems and things like that. So we have been transitioning slowly but surely and here is what my kids have been eating for the past couple days. So today my kids are having a veggie burger for lunch. This is not a completely vegan burger. It actually has um, some eggs in it. But like I said, we are transitioning kind of just away from the really hardcore dairy. The blueberries, which apparently have been violently poured. <laughs> yeah, we, and uh, did you, are you responsible for violently pouring? No, he is. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so, so here's a prettier plate. And apparently these cucumbers, cucumber. for some reason, on here. Yeah, there's <laughs> and then for the burgers, we have cucumbers. We only have a few onions because I'm really the only one that likes them. And tomatoes. And I've already stolen from this so I could weigh them for myself. We have vegetables. Um, it's once again the Normandy, the organic Normandy mix mixed with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, pepper, garlic, and Italian seasoning. And then we have our little, um, our little plate of veggies. Just keep in mind that these used to be prettier, but people snack throughout the, throughout the process of making so lunch. Tonight my kids are having a vegetable pizza. So it's a pre-made crust that I already had in the pantry and needed to be used by January 28th, so I decided tonight was a good night. And it has just a bunch of uh, vegetables that I pre-cooked on the stove with some oregano and some nutritional yeast and some garlic, a little bit of salt, and then I put some, just uh, some pizza sauce oven on the top and put all the vegetables and then sprinkled the top with nutritional yeast. So it may or may not go over that well, so we will see. Just as a side note, if you watched my other video and you saw the uh, stuffing stuffed squash that was not a hit at all I had one that liked the filling a lot but all, most of them were completely freaked out with squash so we'll see how this okay, goes since it's the weekend my kids are all having different things because we all got up at different times my oldest son is trying our new granola and he also put a ton of blueberries on there which is super awesome and also we have sliced apples like I said sliced apples are one of my kids absolute favorite things. So and you can see hands coming from all directions. Today for lunch my kids are having vegetable potatoes. So it's actually potatoes and then I have, it's hard to kind of see, there's kind of a stir fried in water vegetable. It's like, um, it's called seasoning blend and it's got onions, peppers, and celery. And a garden patty for some. Some of them chose to not have that. They just wanted the potatoes and the carrots and the apples and so and then carrots apples and then their vitamins and they're they're having an airborne today because I'm a little worried that the sickness is coming back okay tonight my family is having a veggie burger on a white bun so this is once again they don't know these are about to disappear Brussels sprouts that are um, just kind of cooked up in what's called Caribbean barbecue. I got it at Whole Foods and my kids actually really like it. It makes them like cabbage, it makes them like Brussels sprouts. Uh, so, and then, we have, and then we've got some clementines. And I put a little bit of spinach on the burger just to put a little bit of spinach on the burger because I don't actually have any lettuce on hand. So I actually got this burger recipe from this book that I just checked out from the library. And so far, I'm actually liking the book. It's pretty fun. And um, let's see, this was, I, I marked it with Subway coupons. How uh, ironic is that? Anyway, this was the filet chickpea sandwich with tartar sauce slaw, which we are not doing the slaw because I didn't have time to make it. And it's technically not the filet chickpea it's supposed to be like a filet fish because I didn't have any kelp to add. But, oh, and the other way I changed it was you were supposed to have brown rice and I didn't have any cooked. So I went ahead and used frika, 
which I have never used before. So we'll see how that turns out. Oh, and one more thing, the way I made this burger to look so mm -hmm. professional and awesome and like a real veggie burger is my new burger press. I, j I haven't washed it since I used it, so forgive the mess in there. But anyway, it made huge burgers though. So uh, yeah, in the future I need to remember it makes really big burgers. So this morning my kids are having bare naked granola. One of them is having bananas and soy milk on it. One of them is having um, blueberries and soy milk on it. And one of them is having it dry with a uh, with this uh, protein nut milk on the side. And then my other one is already eating his and he had he had it with uh, granola. He had granola with soy milk and blueberries as well. We're getting ready to go to church and my husband has guards so I'm trying to get five kids out the door. So uh, that's why this is gonna be brief. Okay, today for lunch my kids are having uh, a vegetable dumpling soup that has leftover vegetables, frozen vegetables, a can of beans, leftover beans, a homemade broth mix. It's kind of a hodgepodge and then the, uh, the real terrible ingredient in is the dumplings are made with Bisquick. Because I had a thing of Bisquick. It is actually vegan. It just isn't actually healthy. And then because their soup is so hot, I actually went up and sliced up a plate of apples for them to share. And just as a side note, today's Sunday and we just got back from church. And I probably need to figure out a crock pot meal because it's now like 2 o'clock and my kids are starving. So we got a new spiralizer. And it was actually so that we could make... Um, so that we could make pasta, like so out of zucchini, but no, and, we could make, and we could make beet chips and stuff like that. But the kids were so excited about it that we are going making to- Making cauliflower. We're making curly fries. fries tonight. So we're using our own spices and our own potatoes and we are making curly fries. Well done, we make little mushrooms. Oh yeah, is that the core of the potato? Yes. Yes, that's very cool. So tonight my kids are having, and when I say my kids, I mean my kids and my husband are having a homemade veggie burger on a little slider bun. So here's the, that's what it looks like. And I actually got it out of the My Family Would Never Eat Vegan cookbook. I really like the cookbook. I Yeah, I'm kind of still up in the air. I've used a couple recipes from it that I have liked. Uh, so I'll give, the, so the, the jury's still out on that. And also we made these little curly fries. My son made the spice mix, so it would be like Arby's curly fries. And we think we used the wrong blade on the spiralizer, so they're a little thin, but uh, we're gonna try it again another time. And then right here, we have a homemade pickled cabbage and red onions that I also got from the My Family Would Never Be Vegan cookbook. So, so that's what my family's having, and hopefully there won't be a whole bunch of leftovers because they refuse to so, eat it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my kids have been eating. I definitely wanted to comment that they have been doing very well. My oldest one has been the most resistant to the change, but he's also been the one that has been most willing to try new things. Um, my second son has been uh, really also pretty willing to try new things, and uh, we kind of joke around in here that we like say cheese kills, kind of like people used to say, you know, people say cigarettes kill. My kids are now convinced that cheese kills, and uh, which I don't think they're so wrong on that. And uh, my, so my, my two, like, so my second one and my fourth one have all been very not resistant and, and willing to try things. My fifth one doesn't know any better. She's only 11 months old, so she will, I, I feel like she's the luckiest of all because she will never have known um, cruddy food and she'll just grow up thinking that's normal. And then my third son is a whole other ball game. He has pretty been much been on the starvation diet because he is really, he never liked fruits and vegetables to begin with and now we're just, we're not allowing him to do the, um, I'll just wait it out until I can have something I like. Because in the past, if we've had a, a healthy breakfast, he's been like, well, I'm not gonna eat it. I'll just wait and see what we have for lunch. And then if we have pasta for lunch, he'll just fill up on pasta. And if we have, uh, but if we have pasta for dinner, he'll just wait until he gets something he likes. Well, recently we have been just everything's been healthy, so he either eats it or he doesn't. And slowly but surely, he's coming around. He's starting to think that like uh, some of the vegetables we've been serving are starting to look way more appealing than some of the other things like the veggie burgers and things like that. But where he's coming around. I also wanted to just add that the very last meal in this video was a homemade veggie burger, and that was the tofu, the herbed tofu burger from the uh, My Family Would Never Eat Vegan cookbook that I checked out from the library. And we had also gotten a new spiralizer, 
and we made uh, we made some curly fries that my kids were super excited about and I will say that the meal was a winner I even did a pickled cabbage slaw to go along with it that I also got from that cookbook and I didn't think that the kids would really like it but actually everyone really liked it so I just wanted to comment that the last meal was a win-win for everyone so and I even and I even used the veggie burger for my protein so I really like the way that we're starting to bring together everybody's uh, everybody's eating my bright line eating their healthy eating it's starting to all mesh together so if you have any uh, any tips on transitioning your kids, any especially resistant kids, I would love to hear them. And uh, speaking of kids, my one of my kids keeps bumping this table and making my, my camera move. So anyway, <laughs> have a great day. Talk to you soon.